Hi, I'm Composer Mick Composer Face, and like many of you, I am reeling from the recent tragedy that has shaken our community, country, and or world to its core. Upon hearing about the events that had transpired, I was at a loss for what to do. But after opening Facebook and seeing that seven of my friends had shared that Leonard Bernstein quote, I knew what I must do, share the picture as well, and begin working on a piece written in memory of the events that transpired. And today, after days of work, I am pleased to announce that my most recent piece is available for performance. I know that as performers, you must tackle this complex subject matter with tact and care. But rest assured, there are several reasons why this most recent piece of mine will be a guaranteed effective and tasteful addition to your next program. The first reason is that I have a long and successful history of capitalizing empathizing with tragedy through music. I have written many tragedy pieces, such as pieces whose names begin with In Memory, pieces named after various natural disasters, my plural nouns series including memories, repercussions, reverberations, reflections, recollections, elections, connections, infections, and insurrections, and my sister pieces Elegy, Eulogy, Elegiac Prelude, Threnody, and after a friend of mine noted that I was errantly using the words elegy and eulogy interchangeably, I wrote this piece, where in the program notes I note that I am the first composer to think about the communicative relationship between language and music, but don't leave any direction on how to pronounce the title. The second reason why you should perform this piece is because, like the composition itself, the performance should put itself together relatively quickly. It's six minutes long, and is scored for a solo orchestral instrument, and a piano part that I call an accompaniment despite the fact the piano part is five times harder. But if I'm feeling particularly ballsy, I may score this for Wind Ensemble tomorrow. The third reason is because I have devised this piece with a tried and true formula that is guaranteed to make your next program seem sensitive and empathetic. The piece opens with a slow, reflective melody in the solo line, followed shortly by a series of shimmering, tempo-less arpeggios in the upper register of the piano. This moment represents the morning before this act of war, domestic violent crime, natural disaster, or unexpected death of a celebrity occurred. To foreshadow the impending tragedy, the sparse, consonant harmonies are replaced by low, ominous rumbling and short, irregular phrases that I have very inappropriately described as schizophrenic. The piece climaxes with a section filled with minor seconds, driving fortissimo phrases, and wild use of extended techniques, which, we good composers all know, can only be used to represent violence or destruction. After the musical dust is settled, a quiet hymn tune grows into a firm, bombastic chorale, representing our collective strength and resilience in the face of tragedy. The hymn tune I chose may or may not be appropriate for the context. Throughout the piece, I may have used such techniques as the horn call motive, representing impending danger, pianissimo tremolos, representing the fragility of the human condition, and playing the instrument toward the piano with the pedal held down, creating reverberations which represent this event's inevitable ripples throughout history. And while this piece will almost certainly bear some relationship to political events or opinions, I will go out of my way to describe it as apolitical as to not alienate any potential performers who may sympathize with political extremists, manifesto authors, or earthquakes. If you're interested in performing this piece, I'm happy to announce that I'm providing PDF copies of the score for free. This is, of course, because I hold this tragedy so close to my heart, and not because BMI and ASCAP royalties pay way more for performances than I would get for selling two pieces of paper. Just leave your email address and something about how sensitive I am in the comments, and I'll be sure to send the piece along today and send you follow-up emails asking about performance dates every month for the rest of your life.